In this video, we'll continue working on our sequence and resize and reposition these photos so they look better. Now we're creating this piece which is more of a documentary piece, but this will come in handy if you're doing a narrative piece. Say you're using video clips and some you shot in 4K resolution and some you shot in regular HD 1920 by 1080 you'll have to use the effects control tab to resize that video clip. Whenever you click on one of these clips or layers and go to your effects controls tab, you have this motion tab. Drop down the motion options and you have position, scale, rotation, anchor point, and anti-flicker filter. With scale, we can drag up and drag down the scale. We can also, I'm gonna undo that, do that right within our program window. Just by double clicking, it's hard to see, so let me zoom out, and this is a good time to explain what this is right here. We have our fit, and then we have these different percentages. This is, this is the size of our video in our window. If we say fit, it blows up the video program monitor to the size of our panel right here. So if we make the panel bigger, it increases in size. If we want it just to stay at 100%, then it will stay at 100% no matter what size we're at. For now, we want to decrease the size so that we can see this bounding box of the photo. See when I double click the photo in here, we get this bounding box and when I increase or decrease the size, you can see the scale increase or decrease over here. I typically leave this at fit and I typically will just use the scale options over here. Although it is very fast to double click, move around our objects and resize and rotate. If we hover over the edge until our mouse becomes this kind of curved arrow, this is our rotate option. We can do all of this from over here too. So for now, let's just put this in place. Later on, we're going to add a bit of motion to it, but for now, we'll just put it in place. Now, when I go over on my timeline to this next photo, you'll notice that I'm still on the settings of this previous photo. So you have to select that in your timeline, open up your motion tab, decrease the size, and maybe just double click over here and put it in the right spot. Something like that. That's good for now. Now let's go back to our social media screenshots over here and we'll just resize all of these. If I double click these, you can resize them. You can put them in different parts on the screen. If I want to make this disappear so I can see the layer beneath it, I'll just turn off the toggle on and off button. So that's how you reposition and resize clips on your timeline. It's time to take action. After this video, go to your project and resize and reposition the rest of the photos on your timeline, including the social media graphics. Do it however you feel is best. And in the follow-up video, I will be reviewing how I resized and repositioned my own photos on my own timeline. Okay, have fun, do the exercise, and we'll come back and see you in the next video.